Hello, today I would like to present this absolutely beautiful vintage mouse and for a good reason I skip word computer because I'm not entirely sure if this is a computer mouse. At the very beginning you most likely notice that this plug is quite wide and that's because it is DB25 and on a regular computer PC that type of connector is being used for serial, which is RS232. Here for compare, I've got the Motorola Rib-less programming cable, and it was delivered with this old DB25 port that you can attach directly to your vintage computer, and it is not printer port, and the connectors are being reversed, to prevent any accidental connecting, but the Motorola was also supplying this type of adapter that is converting that old electrical interface into DE9. And you most likely notice that the DE9 is available on most of USB to serial adapter, and you've got absolutely no problem connecting it to modern computer. So this vintage plug is using exactly the same terminal, but most likely it is not a regular standard pinout, and that's because of manufacture of that mouse, and it is Lino type, and that company is making devices and industrial equipment for like writing industry, and most likely it was used to operate some sort of machine, or more to be precise, operating system that must have graphical user interface. And it was absolutely not required to follow the IBM standards. If you take a look at the bottom, the second most interesting thing is that our ball is not being covered in rubber, and when we undo that screw, you will be able to see, and that ball looks exactly like something that was pulled out from industrial bearing. And here you can also see that the movement sensors were made out of metal, and I can see like a brass shaft. I remember that in the 90s, balls were already covered in rubber, and I never seen like a brand new unit that got metal exposed. Also, if we take a look at the wire, it is quite different from the regular computer ones that you can find. You've got a really interesting texture that to some extent, remind me wires that are being used on like Apple products. But yeah, it is not like a regular wire, it's got like a mushy texture, quite interesting. Maybe it is a real rubber. As for today, this device creates a quite interesting collectible piece. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting, see you next time, and bye bye.